At school these days, the cell phone is now as common as the backpack. Do you know of anyone who doesn't have a cell phone? Um, actually, no. In fact, four of five teens admit to sleeping with or having their cell phone near their bed. When you go to sleep at night, where is your cell phone? My cell phone is right beside me. In your bed? Yes, sir. At Fairfax High School in Los Angeles, phones are banned in the classroom, but lunchtime is a cellular feeding frenzy. Most students banging out text after text after text. How have you been? What are you doing today? How was your weekend? Normal stuff. The average adult sends just 10 text messages per day, but older teenage girls send about 3,000 per month. 16-year-old Annie Levitt sent about 4,000 per month. She now has carpal tunnel syndrome and needs surgery. I started like losing feeling in my hands and they'd go numb and I'd be going to pick up dishes and things and they would just fall out of my hands. Addicted Social studies teacher Mike Stryer really says some of his students admit they're hooked. You know, that's, I mean, they actually say that we are addicted to texting and it's interfering with their studies and their lives. Texting is now the main way teens communicate with their friends, so some parents are concerned that their kids no longer sit down and simply have conversations. We don't get the nonverbal training that we need for later in life on a job interview, talking with our friends, consoling friends. We're missing that along the way. But to teens glued to their phones, that's one message that apparently isn't getting through. Ben Tracy, CBS News, Los Angeles. And that's the CBS Evening News for.